known for a century that cancer cells can be found in the circulating blood of cancer patients. But the problem was that we couldn't find, that was very difficult to find because you can imagine that these were just very few cells or very rare cells as we call them uh, among a vast number of normal cells that were found in the blood. So the way we address this problem is with a combination of two technologies. The first technology finds those cells in the circulating blood, distinguishes them from the normal cells, and this is what we call the FAST scanner. The FAST laser can scan 25 million white blood cells in one minute. We start off with a 7.5 mil blood sample from a patient. From there we isolate the white blood cells along with the circulating tumor cells we call CTCs. and go through a process in which we label all these cells with a cocktail of antibodies. And these antibodies are fluorescent tags that tag specifically the circulating tumor cells. The laser can detect this fluorescence of the circulating tumor cells. The second technology couples with this first technology to then hone in on each individual cancer cell that's identified and to extract critical information from those cells about the patient's disease. We can load the slide onto an automated digital microscope and with this we can take High resolution images, we can zoom in on each of these circulating tumor cells and see specifically the structures each protein biomarker labels. The limitations of biopsies include the fact that they are taken from a just a given point in time. Uh, there are times when biopsies are not even feasible because either the patient's primary tumor has already been removed or the disease has spread. Um, and in addition, of course, biopsies are invasive and can actually uh, cause complications. We can do this analysis at any time during the patient's treatment, actually before therapy begins, during therapy, and even after therapy is over. But in addition to that, um, we are able to get very specific information about what I, was, uh, what I call a, the biomarkers that actually can inform physicians what the best mode of therapy is for that patient. In the case of breast cancer, we have had uh, done some very interesting studies in collaboration with our clinical partners. So for example, uh, we have been analyzing uh, two important biomarkers on the circulating cancer cells. Uh, these biomarkers are called ER and HER2, and these two pr proteins are receptors that tell the physician how likely that patient is to respond to a given targeted therapy, which produces a better quality of life for these patients and can also improve the patient outcomes.